Hi stamping friends, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. We just recently had one of our big stamping get togethers and I wanted to show you how we set up our table for the projects that we make. Um, we kind of have a process that we've developed over the years and we feel like we've fine tuned it really well and it works really nicely for us. So before we set anything up, we always lay down grid paper underneath our project just to keep the tables nice and clean. So we put everything in here to go for our project. This is Snapware is the brand and we got it at Lowe's. And we like them because they snap shut on the top and they have a handle and it, you can put a lot of product in it and it carries them really nicely. And then when we get to our venue, we set it all up. So we do steps, we call them steps on for each of our projects, and we number them, one, two, three, four, and so on, and then we put the instructions on both sides of the cardstock. This is just black cardstock that we use, and we just line them up all the way down the middle of the table. And then usually we start with stamping, and then punching, and then whatever accessories that we are putting onto the card. And on each side of the table, we have one of each of the supplies that we need for the project. So, two stamp pads, two stamp sets, two punches, two of everything. Typically, when we have our get-together, our tables are much longer. So this is quite compact, just for showing the video. Um, we usually have a lot more space, so there's room to stamp and punch um, out your project. Usually, we put logo sacks on the table so that we can collect the garbage as the stampers go down the table. We've set it up so once you have all your supplies finished, you can take it back to your table and assemble it there so that you don't have to do it at the long table and keep the flow going. So we have a few tips for our big get-togethers. One of the tips is when we have our punches, we um, sometimes we have like say two circles that we're using, two different size circles. We'll punch the color of the paper that we're using this punch on so that the people that are stamping know which punch to use for which color of paper. As you can see, we did that with the black one too. Another tip for when you're stamping is on this card we have two balloons that are the same stamp but stamped in different colors. So we just stamped one of each and punched them out and put them on the stamp that they belong to so that when people come down the line and they're stamping their, their paper that they're not going to mix up the colors because when you have such a large event that tends to happen very easily. Which we also brings me to um, the cleaning pads that we have at each table. At each table um, of our projects we have wet wipes and we have a stamp and scrub. The wet wipes are really nice for the photopolymer stamps because they tend to get quite messy. So we just keep those there that any of the people that are stamping at our event can use, just pick up and use quickly if they have a mess on their hands. We also have these baskets that we use on each table. We actually usually put them all along the table with the little pieces of paper in them. It just keeps your table more organized all along the way. Um, for the sake of the video, I didn't do that because I didn't have the space to put baskets out. But these baskets are really nice. And you can purchase these at any big box store, Walmart, Target, anywhere like that. But they're really nice to keep things nice and organized on your table. We put our card here at the front of the table. And this these are really nice display hooks that we have. Um, it hooks onto a basket or other type of bucket that you could put at the front of the table. And then it also clips onto the card itself. We really like these hooks that we've been able to find and we'll put the link of where you can order those from in the comments below. So this may be a lot to, to somebody that is having a monthly class with a get together of maybe 10 or 15 people, but when we have our big get togethers with 50 plus people, this is a really great way for us to keep it really nice and clean and organized the best that we know how. So we showed you some great tips for doing a get together with a lot of different people, but I wanted to show you what we do typically for our monthly classes where we have 10 to 15 people. Um, this is how we set up for those classes. We typically have five or six projects just depending on the size of the cards or projects that we're doing. And we take these smaller Tupperware boxes and we put all of the, the products that we need to make the card in these boxes and then the, um, the stampers that are at our classes just take them to their round table and put together the, the card or the project at their table. 
So I hope that you enjoy the tips that I shared and I hope that you can share some with us. And if you have any great ideas that you would like to share with us about how you do big get togethers or even your small monthly ones, we'd love to hear it. Thanks so much for stopping with us today and we'll see you next week on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.